someone wanted to know about uh, how I name the kitties, what that's all about. Got the alphabet litters. My first four litters, I did not do alphabet litters, and some kittens got clear through to adoption with the handle of Hey You or maybe nothing at all, just color codes. So I started uh, on my fifth litter, I started using the alphabets, a different letter for each, for each litter. So it helps me get going. I make long lists of all the words starting with that letter that I can think of. I like, um, I like animals, I like places, I like winds, the names of winds like Chinook, Blizzard, anything that strikes my fancy, deserts. I already have several cats with desert names, Sahara, Kalahari, and Sirocco is a wind that blows off of the Sahara Desert. And I wanted to give Sequoia a desert name, and I do a lot of research when I do names, permanent names for my own cats. I researched everything I could about deserts to find a name for Sequoia. I was leaning towards the Gobi Desert, maybe calling her Gobi Bear, but that just didn't seem to fit. I thought, okay, well, we could do desert flowers. And I looked up all kinds of flowers, and I couldn't find any flower names for the desert that I thought would be good. And somebody really wanted me to name her Mojave, which is actually a pretty good name, but that didn't seem to fit. And she ended up with a tree name, Sequoia, all of a sudden just struck me, and that was the right name. So I make lots of lists. But for the kittens, that's what I do. I'll even go through the dictionary. Every K name that strikes me as that it might be cute or appropriate for a kitten. And I like names that are not normal, like kitty, although I did consider Kitty Hawk. That was pretty high on my list for the K names. I've been wanting to name a kitten Kimo Sabi since my very first litter. In fact, I almost hung that name on Kalahari, but it didn't quite fit. So I decided that we were going to have a Kimo Sabi in this litter, and then it turned out we didn't have any males. So we put the name on one of the little girls, Kimo Sabi. Kabuki is uh, not that unique for a cat name. I've heard of a lot of cats named Kabuki, but it's very cute. And then I added the Kabuki, the son, Kabuki son, because it has a nice ring to it. And I don't like names that are really complicated. Anything more than four syllables, and it should ring, it should run together really good. Like Kimosabi has four syllables, but it's really easy to say. I like names that start with a letter that don't sound like they start with a letter, like Chinook or Chimera. I had a Chinook and a Chimera in my C litters. It's amazing how often the names actually turn out to fit the kitten, and they are temporary names, although a few of the families do keep their temporary names. But every now and then I'll name a kitten, and every time I think of that name and try to call the kitten by that name, it sort of gets stuck. It doesn't flow well, I forget. Then I know that that name was not right for that kitten. But it's okay because it's just a temporary name. <laughs> These little guys. Now we have a kumquat. I've always thought my little kumquat. Be a cute name. Kettle is a actually a name of a character in a book that I like a lot. So 
That's how they got these names. I had, I don't know, maybe 50 or 60 names to choose from. I thought of Kamikaze. I uh, thought a lot of different names. Kipling. Some of the names that the families have kept have been, um, let's see, Blizzard and Buttercup from the Bee Litter, Chewbacca from the Sea Litter, Dewdrop from the D Litter, Einstein from the E Litter, Flash from the F Litter, which really doesn't count because she named her kitten before it was born. And none in the G litter. Um, none in the H litter. Oh, the H litter, I was determined to have a Hiawatha. It's a good thing we had a little male. And then in the G litter, I got to use my Gobi Bear name. And the I litter, Intrepid, kept his name. Or his forever name. Anyway, that's the story behind the names. These little guys are having a great time here. This video is getting to be long and boring, isn't it? Look at you guys, they're so cute. Okay, that's Kabuki san over there, but <laughs> she's really. Yeah, they're all little characters. But Kabuki san sort of stands out. There she is. Here she comes. And uh, these two little girls here, one, let's see, this one is, uh, you gotta look at your collars because these legs look so much alike. Okay, this is Kettle, Kumquat, and then over there is uh, Kimo Sabi. Okay, I guess we better stop this video before it gets way too long.